Well, good morning, everyone. I also uh, raised how the Abraham Accords brokered by President Trump contribute greatly to our shared goals for regional peace and security. They reflect a changing dynamic in the region, one in which countries rightly recognize the need for regional cooperation to counter Iranian influence and generate prosperity. We hope Saudi Arabia will consider normalizing its relationships as well. We want to thank them for the assistance they've had in the success of the Abraham Accords so far. Our conversations this morning reflected a mutual willingness to grow not only our security and economic ties, but our whole partnership. As proof, I have an announcement today. The United States is preparing to acquire a 26-acre site for a new U.S. Embassy in Riyadh. Uh, we had thorough conversations on regional security, how to keep both of our people safe, it's no secret that Iran's destabilizing behavior threatens Saudi Arabia's security and disrupts global commerce. Their development of their nuclear program and ballistic missiles and their malign activities represent a grave danger to the region and the world. We are both committed to counter and deter Iran's destabilizing behavior. We're also very concerned with the aging oil tanker in the Red Sea, the FSO Safir, which the Houthis are refusing to allow full access to, threatening an environmental catastrophe that will irreparably damage Yemen's coastline and marine life in the region. 